Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Our today's topic is difference between depreciation and amortization. All the confusions about these two concepts I will clear inshallah in this video. So first of all we will see what we are going to learn today. <coughs> what is depreciation and amortization? We will see the definition and the key differences. After that I will share with you real life examples the list of amortization assets and the list of depreciation assets. We will see the journal entries that how we are going to record them in our accounting books. So let's start with the beginning. What is depreciation? Depreciation is an expense which is affecting the assets cost reduction and it is affecting revenue and record it on profit and loss account. Every month we are charging an depreciation amount against an asset useful life like we are using an asset and every time the value of that asset is decreasing so the value which is decreasing while we are using an asset that is called depreciation so we need to record that depreciation as an expense to our profit and loss account so this depreciation decreases our revenue and record it in our profit and loss account under the operating expenses now amortization is also an expense affecting the assets cost reduction but the assets which assets depreciation is also charged on the assets so amortization is charged on intangible assets it is also affecting the revenue and record it on profit and loss account as an expense so let's see the key differences what are the key differences between amortization and depreciation here we have depreciation depreciation is charged on tangible assets tangible assets those assets which we can touch and see so those assets are tangible assets in other case the amortization charged on intangible assets I will show you the examples what are the intangible assets the intangible assets we cannot see we cannot touch them so those are intangible assets different depreciation methods can be used in depreciation straight lines double declining and other methods which are available and for the amortization we are using only straight line method there is a direct deduction and complete write off the asset after that there is a salvage value in depreciation when we are using a tangible assets there is always a resale value of that asset but in case of amortization the assets intangible asset doesn't have resale values it is charging to the profit and loss account and amortization also charging to the profit and loss account depreciation will be used as accumulated uh, work like when we are charging a depreciation every year it becomes an accumulated depreciation and shows under the balance sheet under the fixed assets you will be having a credit balance of accumulated depreciation for whole periods like one two three four five years so here amortization case we are not showing anything in the balance sheet as it will be a direct deduction from the asset value so these are the key differences between both of them let's see the examples here the depreciation like furniture plant and machinery vehicles tools printers and all the assets which are touchable like furniture vehicles plant and machinery tools these are all our physical assets in case of amortization amortization we are using on copyright suppose I have created some contents I have created a movie I have created some scripts so I will ask the federal government to make it as a copyright if someone copy my content so I can sue him so I can take him the court why uh, he is using my content so that copyright will be given by the government and charged by the government government is charging a fee so that fee is our asset and amortized by the year like we are making that asset as an expense for the period of time like the life of the copyright will be maybe 10 years so we will charge that money 
which we paid to the government for 10 years we will distribute to the 10 years that and we will make that money as an expense in our personal loss account here we have franchise contract same as copyright when suppose we need to open a, a burger uh, a restaurant or we need to get the name of McDonald's so we need to talk to the owner and we need to agree with them that we need to use your name and we need a franchise here so they will charge some money against this franchise contract so that money you need to put it as a asset current asset and you need to amortize that asset for the period of the contract value how here trademark trademark is a logo or the design of of any business which you wish you use like Apple if you want to use the logo of Apple you need to call them and contact them and make an agreement that you want to use their trademark to sell their things so in that case they are charging money so that money will be lump sum will be recorded as asset and amortized will be on that the contract period like if 10 years so you will distribute on 10 years here patent what is patent patent is an invention somebody is going to invent anything he is going to get a patent from government that this is my invention and I am the one who is uh, who is who is responsible to sell this invention but if anyone else will copy my invention that will be uh, that will be not lawfully so the patent value which will be paid to the government that will be made an asset and the value will be deducted for the period of that patent uh, expiry date so if 10 years so it will be distributed on 10 years and every year you need to make an expense for that value loan amortization on loan there are some different examples that when we are going to get the loan from uh, from the banks so we need to amortize like installment is the principal we are returning principal amounts and the interest so amortization will be depend on the principal amount that will decrease every year so yearly we are paying so that will be an amortization of that loan which will be recorded in profit and loss account as an expense every year so the value will decrease from the balance sheet and which will goes to the profit and loss account as an expense so you need to note one thing that goodwill of a business cannot be amortized because this is going to be the will of the business the reputation of the business which cannot be decreased which will always be increased here we have the depreciation journal entries like these are all the assets we have here depreciation expense account plant and machinery will charge to profit and loss account and affecting revenue by this value and here accumulated depreciation in the balance sheet and under the fixed asset will be the total of these all depreciations now when a company buying an asset like we buy a plant and machinery we make it debit and cash or bank or creditor if we buy by cash we make it cash credit if buy by bank so bank credit if we are buying on like credit basis so creditor account or supplier account will credit with the same value when company charge depreciation on different assets like these all assets we have charged depreciation so depreciation expense profit and loss account will debit and accumulated depreciation will credit not directly the asset will be credit you need to remember this thing accumulated depreciation will be shown under the fixed assets as a credit balance now we will see the amortization journal entries when a company buying an intangible asset like trademark for 10 years so trademark asset on balance sheet will be debit and cash or bank will be credit we have paid 50,000 to buy this trademark for 10 years now when company charged amortization on this trademark amortization on trademark expense profit and loss account will be debit and trademark asset on balance sheet will be credit this 5000 will decrease from this account the asset account from the balance sheet and this 5000 will be made as an expense in the profit and loss account which will decrease your revenue and increase your expenses 
so this is uh, all about amortization and depreciation guys i hope you like and understand the concept please subscribe my channel as it keeps motivated me to create more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye